So, let us look at the dincharya. What aspect of the day should be is suitable for what kind of food? Uh, this, this work is awarded uh, with the Nobel Prize, uh, Jeff, uh, Dr. Uh, Jeffrey Hall and uh, Michael Rojbesh and Michael Young uh, for discoveries that explain how plants, animals, humans adapt their biological rhyme so that they are synchronized with the earth's revolution. So, circadian cycle is, is, is very well known. Uh, if we take this uh, 12 midnight as the starting point, then 2 o'clock, 2 a.m. is the deepest sleep, 4 a.m. is the lowest body temperature, 6 to 6.45 is the sharpest uh, blood pressure rise, uh, 7.30 to 10 is the highest alertness time, uh, melatonin uh, and secretion take uh, stops at 7.30. 12 noon is the best coordination time, fastest reaction time is 1.30 and greater cardiovascular efficiency is achieved around 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock and from the evening 6 o'clock uh, again the high blood pressure starts and uh, highest body temperature reaches to the 7 o'clock and around 9 o'clock the melatonin, uh, melatonin uh, serotonin secretion starts. So, these uh, we know that melatonin and secretion are deeply connected to the quality of sleep and the cycle goes on. Uh, Vat governs the nervous system, Pitt maintains digestion and metabolism and Kaf that controls immunity and physical health, physical strength different parts of the day, you can see the predominance of vata, pitta, kapha and the nature of the circadian cycle, they are in coherence with each other. So, uh, the peak of the pitta time is, uh, is the midnight, from the midnight when we move towards dawn, uh, the vata time comes and vata is we know what it governs, so you can see the coherence. From the dawn, sunlight, sun, uh, from the dawn till the midday, our kapha and pitta, pitta aspect they increase. So the mid of the day is the best time for getting the richest food during the day, taking action. So you can take the best food and the highest quality and high good amount of food during the midday because that is the highest pitta time where the digestion is best. Then gradually the uh, from the pitta our uh, uh, tendency goes towards bath and uh, that requires uh, that is good for the moment socializing uh, and at the dusk time our cuff starts rising, vath also comes down and that is the time we need to take the last meal. If you see the circadian cycle and how the vat pitta kaf changes during the day, there is a harmony. And Ayurveda and yoga suggest that we should take our food according to this cycle. That constitutes the best ahar. There is no one fit for all. We need to understand our prakriti. We need to keep under consideration the seasonality where we are residing and accordingly we must keep making experimentation and accordingly we must keep making the food choices. I would like to share three resources. One resource is in the form of this video, uh, YouTube video that is a diet for the weight loss based on the advice of Sadhguru Jaggi Vasudev. Sadhguru, Sadhguru Jaggi uh, suggest that uh, soaked peanut, uh, white gourd, turmeric, neem, little bit of jaggery and uh, use of uh, honey, uh, banana, these are very, imp very good high pranic food. So, he defines the good quality food is that which is high pranic food, which has more 
pran shakti in the in those food so based on his advices given at different occasion the creator of this video has developed a diet plan for 10 days and she claims that it can be helpful to reduce the 10 kg of weight in 10 days without reducing our energy levels it is up to your choice whether you want to follow that uh, diet plan for 10 days or not i can certainly say based on my experience because in iit bombay in school of management i suggested this plan for my students to be followed just 3 days and after that we collected the reaction of the uh, students and their experience almost all the students said that within 3 days they experienced the energy and lightness which they have not experienced before many of them said that they didn't have an idea that just by making some modification in the food habits we can make so much difference to our own day to day experience so this is uh, at least 3 days you all must follow that is first resource second resource is uh, coming from the great dietitian uh, who uses ayurvedic and the yogic wisdom in abundance in her recommendations uh, rujuta devikar she gives a method of taking food and uh, being self restrained and applying self control or making the food choices and intake of the food more conscious what she says that whenever you are sitting for the food and when you are hungry you imagine how much food you can eat so you visualize how much you are likely to eat you keep half of that portion half of what you imagine in your in your plate in the first serving so serve half that is the second step third step is after finishing that half again you meditate reflect on the body how much you think you can eat more and again put half of what you imagine in the uh, in the plate you eat it and repeat the process in this way uh, we can develop our interoception our capability to perceive within what is the right amount of food for me a uh, third thing a uh, third resource is also coming from the rujuta devikar's work uh, the head start project Uh, she talks about some diet rules don't start your day with the tea coffee finish your dinner 3 hours before bed time avoid long gaps between meals finish eating your meal just before you are full uh, have ghee fresh fruit homemade chutney pickle uh, daily exercise rules are like follow a well rounded fitness regime and progressive overload principle these are some of the principles which everybody can follow all of us can follow within one week we can start feeling the significant difference in our body in our mind in our energy systems so these are some of the resources you can use which are readily available as ahar which is our first intervention towards achieving uh, optimum level of well being to have towards greater power in managing ourselves which naturally has impact on managing our career